A camping we will go. A camping we will go. I hold a dairy A camping we will go. Are we there yet, Mr. Ratburn? It's not far now. <sighs> Are we there yet? It's not far now. Okay, now, is that everyone? It is now! I still can't believe DW's going camping with us. Yeah, I'm the only kid in class who has to bring his little sister along. Now, Arthur, be nice to your sister. You know that with your parents out of town, you couldn't have come on this trip unless she came too. That would have been fine with me. All right, class. Don't forget that one reason we're taking this class camping trip is to view the wildlife. Everyone gets a notebook. And whoever sees the most birds will earn a special certificate. Now, hmm, just a moment. Does anyone know where the trail map... Let's <laughs> see if there's anything I could... Oh, hey, Mr. Ratburn, I found the map. Excellent, Arthur. I knew we'd find it eventually. Let's get going! What are we waiting for? Looks like we're all set to go. Okay, class. Let's go! Arthur's Camping Adventure! I can't believe how long this trail is! Pretty soon my legs are going to give out and I'll be stuck at the side of the trail, unable to move, at the mercy of wild animals! Well, class, here we are! Now, We'll just... Whoops! Ow! Mr. Ratburn, are you alright? Hmm, I seem to have twisted my ankle. I'm afraid I won't be able to walk on it. Mr. Ratburn's hurt! Uh-oh! The implications are frightening. I'll be fine. I just need to rest my ankle for a little while. Arthur, would you pitch my tent so I'll have somewhere to lie down? Pitch a tent? I've never pitched a tent before. Look at all these. <laughs> Click on. <laughs> there. Hmm. Good. That look. Looks good. Now I'm getting some. Now I'm getting some. Almost done. Almost done. There. I did it. Now for the cover. There. All done. Finished, Mr. Ratburn. I pitched the tent. Thank you, Arthur. Don't worry, Mr. Ratburn. I'll take care of you. I know lots of first aid. Ow! Whoops, sorry. Be careful with my ankle, DW. Please. You guys, Mr. Ratburn can't walk. He's in his tent with DW right now. What are we going to do? Well, at least we've got some food. Bad news. I just went to look for a snack and our food bag's been stolen. Dragged away. Bears! Oh, great! Now our food is gone, too! We're going to have to think of some way to get out of here without Mr. Ratburn. Does anyone have any ideas? I brought my two-way radio. I'll just call for help. 
Oh no, it's broken! Now what are we going to do? I've got an idea. It's something my dad told me about. We could climb to a really high place and then use a mirror and sunlight to flash a signal in Morse code. That's a neat idea, Pinky. What do you think, Brain? Yes, that's an option. Or, with the right parts, I could fix my radio. Then we could use it to call for help. Another great idea! I have a suggestion, Arthur. Why don't you go fly a kite? <laughs> Francine, this is an emergency. Try to be helpful. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. We could use a kite to signal for help. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that would work. Well, it seems to me that we've heard three workable solutions. Francine's kite, Binky's signal mirror, and my radio. Whose idea do you think we should pursue? I know. We can use my lucky rabbit's foot. I'll just hold it really tight and something good is bound to happen. Buster, I think we need a more active plan than that. Why don't we just call a limousine service and have someone come pick us up? We don't have a phone, Muffy. And we're in the middle of the woods. Hmm. I don't know. They all sound like good ideas. Even when I'm just kidding, I have the best ideas. But how are we going to fly a kite in the middle of the woods? We could get up really high above the trees where it's windy. We could even put a mirror on the tail to flash in the sun. That way, people would be more likely to see it. I think it's a capital idea, Francine. I can make the kite if you like. I just need some lightweight fabric, some poles that are light and strong, a mirror, some string, and something to use as ink for the message. Okay, let's go find this stuff. across the river. If only I could give you that Hey, look at this stick. It's like a long hook. This could be useful. That tree is blocking the door. If only I could find... Let's see if there's anything I could use. Let's see if the saw works. A screwdriver. I bet that'll come in handy. Francine, 
Look at all these berries! Hey! Look at these! They look like blueberries! These are yummy! They sure are! Look! It's our food bag! But, uh, Arthur, what's that? Uh-oh! It's moving! Maybe we'd better leave. Let's see if there's anything I can... I don't think that's going to work. I'll put this away for the time being. I don't think I can reach the nest from here. It's too high up. Here I go! Um, Arthur, I think I'll stay down here. Perfect! A mirror! The brain was looking for one. Buster, look at this cliff! It looks like it goes right... Let's <gasps> see if there's anything I could use... Let's see if we can reach it with this stick! You got it! Squirrel is a small animal with large front teeth. It feeds on caution, rock slide area. Ah! 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 Look at this! This is cool! Hey! What's this? It's a fossil, Arthur. From my expert opinion, I'd say it's a trilobite. This is so cool! Something like this should probably go in a museum. I'm going to show it to Mr. Redburn. Stars can be found in shades of the tree squirrel. Is that tree over there looks like it would reach across the river. If only I could find some way to get a hold of it. Let's see if there's anything I could... Okay, Buster. Let's see how well I can throw a lasso. We did it! 
Now we can get across. To help Arthur keep his balance on the log, watch which way he's falling and click your mouse on the opposite side. The arrows on screen will help to guide you. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Watch out for beep. DW! Oh no! Yikes! This is slippery! Yikes! This is slippery! I made it! Yeah! Come on! Here I come! Wow! Look at this place! You don't think it's haunted or anything, do you? What's this little house here? Look! A key! I bet we could use that! Let's take a look! like these rungs are loose. Let's see if... I bet I can tighten these up with this screwdriver. There! This must be where rangers go to monitor forest fires. Do you think this bowl could be useful? Sure. Maybe we'll find something to put in it. Let's see if there's anything I could use in my backpack. Close up the backpack. Hey, look! Some string! This will come in here. Let's see if there's anything I could use in my backpack. Okay, let's close up the backpack. make a lot of noise. They're blue and... Blue Jays make a lot of noise. Turning back now! Hmm, a flashlight. Just because the brain doesn't need it, doesn't mean it won't come in handy later. Let's remember that. There, there might be. 
might be something useful in there. But it's too... There might be... The flashlight! Just what I need! Let's go, Buster! Um, Arthur? I think I'll stay here. Okay! Wish me luck! Wow! It's a cave! Use your mouse to help Arthur walk through the maze. D-double! Thing I could Hungry. So what else is new? <laughs> You're. Hmm. Yeah. Good point. A canoe. Let's take it. Here we go! <laughs> to help Arthur... D D Arthur? You said it! Hey! Let me have a turn! Francine! You're going the wrong way! Oh, brother! Vicky! We got the food back! Thank goodness! Mr. Radburn would be in serious trouble if I wasn't here to treat him.
You go ahead and build your toys, Arthur. I'll be the responsible one around here. Brain! We found the food! That's great. I thought I got the self-pitching tent. Now I'm going to be stuck at... Muffy, what's that? It's my Fabri-Tec super lightweight emergency blanket. Hey, this fabric looks perfect for our kite. Can we borrow it, Muffy? Okay, on one condition. You'll have to put my tent together for me. Hey, Ar Buster! Pitch mu- Almost there. I did it. Now for the cover. There. All done. Thank you for pitching the tent, Arthur. Here's the blanket. in this thing. I don't get it. Where am I supposed to plug stuff in? Hmm. Who's going to blow up my inflatable easy chair? I wonder if I have anything else Arthur wants. Hmm. These walls are kind of drab. What happened to me today? Arthur, we probably shouldn't be listening to this. Too bad this fishing pole broke. But we can still use it. It's perfect for making a kite. Let's see if there's anything I could use in my bag. Okay, let's close up the bag. Kind of fun. you guys. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Let's see if there's... Here, Brain. Can you use this? Yes, that looks perfect. Let's see if there's anything I could use... 
We found this! Will it help? It's just what I needed. Let's <gasps> see if there... How's this? Great! I can use this. Let's <gasps> see... I think you said you wanted this. I sure did. to make ink for our kite. Yeah, but how are we going to carry them back to the brain? Let's see. We can use this bowl to carry the blueberries. Great idea. something you can use, Brain. I've got it in my backpack. Great. Why don't you give it to me? Let's <gasps> see it. This is terrific. Now I can finish building the kite. There. Now let's get you to the top of Mount Rockslide so we can put this thing to use. isn't gonna be so tough. I'll show you. Are you sure? Yes. It has to be from the highest point around. And that seems like the top of this cliff. Come on, Arthur. You can do it. Follow me. Okay. Here it goes. <laughs> D.W. Get out of here. It's a good thing you kids called me. If that ankle had swelled up anymore, you sure would have had a hard time walking out of here. DW was doing an um excellent job of taking care of me. Glad to help, Mr. Ratburn. Just call me Dr. Reed. Hey, Mr. Ratburn, look at the neat trilobite fossil I found. That's quite an interesting specimen. We'll put it in the Nature Museum at the Visitor Center. And Arthur, I'm especially proud of you for spotting so many birds. You've earned the certificate. Now, how about we build a campfire and tell some scary stories? If you want, you can print out the ranger's story before he tells it. Some people 
think a creature roams these woods at night looking for food. They say it's big, hairy, and very scary. They call it Squishquash, because the only sound the animal seems to make is its Squish Squash. Squish Squash! I've heard that it will eat anything. Anything but peanut butter, that is. It hates peanut butter. Last year, a group of scouts camped at this very campsite. After a long day of hiking, they climbed into their sleeping bags and fell asleep. In the middle of the night, a loud noise outside their tent woke them up. The ground trembled. Squish, squash. Squish, squash. They were so scared they could barely speak. They whispered to their scoutmaster. What's making that noise? His voice was shaking as he replied. Don't worry, good raccoons. They felt a little better and they finally fell back to sleep. The next morning, they opened their tent and, and found paper wrappers and plastic bags all over the ground. What a mess, they cried. And then they saw it. The only thing that hadn't been touched was a jar of You guessed it. Peanut butter. The legend of Wish Squash lives on. Do you want to play again? See you later. Thank you.